bring in Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes to this conversation. So, Khalif, let's start out with this. What exactly does North Carolina's Stand Your Ground law spell out, and would it apply to this situation? It, it's a, it takes a combination of things, and so you can have the self-defense um, statute that's in our law in the Castle Doctrine. So I'll start with the Castle Doctrine. It's it's if you're in your home and in, in your curtilage, which is the area around your home, you have a right to protect yourself. Um, and, and the other one is the self-defense of yourself or others. Mm -hmm. If you believe, and this is the key, if you're in imminent fear of bodily harm, you have an opportunity to defend yourself. And the, the key portion is if you're in a place where you have a right to be. And it, the, the, the stand your ground portion, what makes it stand your ground, it says you have no duty to retreat. Typically, in a case, you'd say, okay, someone is putting you in danger. You'd have to run away from that danger, not go into that danger. But in this case, where you are in imminent fear, where you feel like your life is in danger, you will die, then you have a right to stand there and defend yourself, and you don't have to retreat. Not all states have it, but North Carolina does. A couple questions, though. First of all, is there a situation where the Stand Your Ground law would not apply? And the second thing for you, too, is this was at a hotel, a hotel property. So does that cause more of a concern? Because you don't know who's around. Yep. It's 4 yep. o'clock in the morning. So the being able to say that I'm in imminent fear of bodily harm, you got to be able to see it. So I can't say I'm just going to start randomly shooting because I thought I was going to die. It has to be a real life threat, and you have to be able to verify that threat. Now that verification may be a short time frame. Um, it's different in your home. The, the law in your home is if they're if you believe you don't even have to see them. They could be knocking on the door, and they're about to kick through the door. You can shoot through the door to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. Now the law gets a little tricky when you're at other places. That right to be is the, the key portion of the statute. Do you have a right to be at that hotel? Well, if you have a right to be there, you have no duty in North Carolina to retreat. Mm -hmm. And so not knowing all of the facts, but it would sound like, yes, this case would be one where it would be a defense, an affirmative defense, that is. That means it's not just saying I have a defense that it can make this case kind of be lessened, where I'm not facing homicide or murder charges. Now I'm facing voluntary manslaughter. It would be an affirmative defense, meaning it would defeat the case completely. Mm -hmm. Now saying I've used something like stand your ground, now the case is gone. That's what an individual will be relying on when they use that type of defense that says, okay, I had an absolute right to not have liability for right. civil or criminal. The last part of your question, um, <clears throat> law enforcement officers or bail bondsmen, individuals that are actually doing their job and saying, hey, I'm an officer, I've showed you my badge, and you shoot at those folks, staying around doesn't apply. Right. And those cases have been hitting across the country mm -hmm. right now. A number of folks have been charged where officers didn't announce themselves, and they shot at officers, and now they're trying to determine, well, should those folks be charged? It does stand your ground and apply to them. Right. A lot of different angles to, to all of this, and it sounds like also it's part of it is what is going on in the person's head and how they feel in that moment in split seconds. For sure. Quickly, decision. I'll say this. If, if someone's knocking on your door in the middle of the night, you don't know who it is, and you just mm -hmm. start shooting because you're trying to protect yourself, that's a really tough one, and you can you see have why to they... acknowledge the danger. Right, right. And so you really have to say, well, man, did I know that was a law enforcement officer when I started shooting? And that's a quick second, I mean, because it could be somebody just trying to break in your house. Right, right. All right, Collie Fresno, we appreciate it always.